bit. What's up, Ash? What you got? Oh, I know. You're just doing such a happy girl. You want to go on a walk? Let's go. Come on. You just want to keep sleeping, don't you? All right, you get to sleep. What you doing, baby girl? It's in your pocket. You still sleeping in your bed, boy? Let me see you. What you got? Hi, sweetie. What are you doing, little girl? You sleeping? Okay, you go back to bed. I'm sorry to bug you. There you go. Hey, happy, uh, what's today? Wednesday? No, Tuesday. <laughs> happy Tuesday morning, everybody. Uh, here at camp, and I've got the awning room all set up. Currently charging batteries because we've got a storm coming in, but, um, what I've got is I've got running off the inverter. I'm just charging my computer right here and the inverter cord runs into the inverter in the back of my truck. But here's the simple layout of the awning room. Over to the left is kind of like my hangout area and I'll use this sleeping bag as a stool to sit on. It's real nice and comfortable and it kind of lowers me a little bit lower to the ground and I can uh, work on the stove. The stove's been working really well uh, but I can work with that if I'm sitting here or I can uh, sit on the ground, work on the computer, and put the computer up there as a little bench. So that works out really great. And uh, I haven't been cooking in here because I don't want any smells to 
uh, permeate the tent walls and kind of make it to where it would attract some bears but it's plenty spacious in here and i like this setup a little bit more than the big tent just because it's a little smaller and it's easier to to operate in it so uh, the stove jack let's go over here and i'll show you um, i attached it with the actually i used three different connectors i used a bungee cord that is a high temperature rated uh, rubber and then i used two uh no one two i used three um uh coat hangers so here let me show it to you so here's the the rubber um bungee cord that's that's high high density or high heat you can see it's not melted at all so there's, there's no melting on here it's been on there all night then i use the coat hangers as well and this basically just supports this and then holds holds the top part into place excuse me holds the top part into place here so that when the wind kicks around we're good to go but i mean i've got let's see i've probably got two and a half feet of stove above the room here which is great because what that'll do is that'll help to where there won't be any backdraft coming down the stove if your stove pipe is lower than your ceiling of whatever structure you're working with then there's a, a high likelihood that you'll get some backdraft coming in there and you don't want that so uh but we're all set up here the the storm i don't think you can really see it very much with this camera view since i'm on the wide ends lane but it's building on the horizon way over there and start like none of these clouds real this morning it's all starting to come in and what's nice is i've got a wind block right here so on the on, on the west here where the wind comes from like the southwest and slams into this campsite all this is blocked with these trees which is which is awesome and uh just to show you what i do on the interior when i'm charging i'll leave the jackery sitting right here and then i'll just plug in a bunch of stuff to it and uh, and have that charge so i've got one i've got a charging station here and then with the inverter in the back of the of the uh truck here i can run like a little hand vac which i'm going to run that in the in the awning room here real quick and it all plugs into the little uh stove or the little uh 110 jack that i have right here in the back of the truck that came standard with the tacoma so that's convenient uh but what i'm doing now is i'm actually i'm i'm, I'm processing up some wood uh, these pieces here were actually one piece and i'm cutting them because uh it's, it's just a little bit too long to go in my stove and what i've been using is i, I finally got an opportunity to use the silky saw so i'm using the big boy silky saw for my this is my brother adam's watching adam this is what i bought with the gift certificate you gave me to cabela's so uh, i'm using this to to cut these these uh, logs in half and i want to show you how quick these this works this works amazingly well and so i'm gonna i'm gonna put the camera down here and reposition it we're gonna we're gonna cut right here on this on this uh log or on this um stone so let's get this going you know exact not exactly the best lighting over here but we'll make do but what i've been doing is i've just been um it says that when you use these you just want to use the you just want to go back and forth you don't want to push down a bunch which is which is true so i've noticed that if i just start out real slow and i got to get this secure but it just kind of go back a little bit whoops let's get it going here it's going to go like that and then just use the full length of the blade here Every once in a while, I'll get it to stick like that, unfortunately. But I think that's just, I've heard other people in the like, reviews of doing this that they has the same thing happen to them. Now look how clean that cut is. That is a clean cut, which is really cool from this, this uh, saw. So. I'm excited to keep using this. I mean, this thing's awesome. It's like a samurai sword too, which is awesome, but uh, works great. So now what we're gonna do is, um, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go to some of the other dispersed campsites around here and scout and see if there's any additional wood. I think I'm gonna. There's some. There's some other like uh, uh, dispersed campsites over there. I'm thinking about heading over there, just taking Sierra for a walk and doing that. And then we're gonna come back and. Uh, just working on a bunch of stuff around camp. It's been awesome truck camping. I mean, it's been so nice to be back in the truck and like, you know, being more mobile. I love that big tent, but it just gets kind of old with uh, with just being in one spot. And it, it's it's a lot of gear to pack up. So what are you thinking, babe? You wanna go for a walk here in a bit? 
You can go for a walk. Come on, boy. Come here. Come here. All right. Let me do some stuff and we're out of here. What's up, girl? What are you doing? Oh, baby. What's up, babs? What you got? Oh, I know. You're just doing such a habit, girl. You want to go on a walk? Let's go. Come on. Yeah, let's go on a walk, babs. Let's go down here and see if we can uh, find some extra firewood. Score. Got a couple of pieces of wood which were decent sized. I can chop these up or, or cut them up with the with the silky and be good to go. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take these back to camp. This one's really good right here. Pretty good sized piece of wood. It looks like they tried to burn it, but I don't know. Maybe the fire just went out or something. What do you think, babe? Be good to go for this storm coming in. It's getting pretty dark. The skies are getting much darker over there. I think that's what's headed our way. So once the cloud cover kicks in, we're gonna retreat back to the awning room and kind of hang out for the rest of the day. Yeah, it's gonna start raining soon, I think. This it looks like it's going to. Sierra, where you at, babe? makes up about half of a skillet here so it's four eggs uh, so a bell pepper um, or the red or I'm sorry red pepper and then I've got some spinach in there and then also some chopped up onions and I browned up the onions and spinach and and uh, bell pepper or uh, red pepper before I um, like I browned it up and then I took it out of the skillet put the eggs in took the stuff put it th threw it back in there after the eggs started to firm up a little bit and this is making a real nice omelet here so uh, trying to eat a little bit healthier. The bacon's awesome, but I just can't do that every morning anymore. 
So I'm gonna, gonna uh, try to search out some new breakfast recipes and this is one of them. Turned out pretty good, look at this. Looks pretty delicious and it's, it's big, so it's a big hearty meal. This will help replace the bacon burritos that I ate continuously. But this is easy to make. Hopefully it tastes good. If not, I got plenty of hot sauce to drown it in. <laughs> what do you think, girl? You happy? Oh, baby, I know. <laughs>